Unsupervised Vitality, I'm gonna do a review of another piece of Hill People gear. This is my Aston 3 backpack, so uh, stay tuned. All right, so let's uh, let's go over the backpack. This is the <clears throat> Aston 3. This is the latest iteration of um, the Aston Backcountry and the Aston uh, Mountain House. It's their uh, one and only panel loader, and it's kind of a hybrid and um, between a top loader and a panel loader. And I'll show you some of the features on here and kind of a typical uh, camping loadout that I have. <clears throat> so I have another video up that compares the size of these, laid out all my Hill People gear. And I got this to replace my 26 liter GR1 uh, GORUCK as my everyday carry bag. And one that I can just switch out some components and a few things uh, for load on go right from everyday, um, back and forth to the university and to the clinic and then out on one of the UV campaigns. I modified this a little bit. I took off two of the straps on the bottom and I just put some shock cord down there because I find that uh, more useful. And then the way this works, you got the standard Hill People gear yoke system, right? It's attached by two instead of one singular. It's got two, two straps that's attached here instead of the one in the middle, like on the Decker pack frame, right? Or on my uh, Umlindi. And it's got the, the usual peel away velcro panel at the bottom so you can get your prairie belt on there All right so you can turn this into a fully capable um, a full carry belt loaded backpack it's got a frame sheet I won't pull this way out the HDPE uh, frame sheet with two aluminum stays 70 75 stays I think I don't know you can look that kind of stuff up but it slides in instead of from the top down uh, the back pocket it slides in from the bottom and then it just stays in place with that hypalon which is a material that's super super durable and a little grippy actually <clears throat> so there's the the yoke and carry system now the strapping um, it has two straps just like this, similar to this, on the bottom of the bag that are set up with side release buckles and then G hooks. And what's unique about this bag is they've got these new little cord, these lock keepers, which is just a, a clever little Velcro strap that goes around to keep your G hook from uh, coming out <clears throat> or coming undone. Right. And it had another strap, a set of these straps on the bottom. Like I said, I removed those. And I just keep these on the top because it helps with compression. Right. So you got those straps on the top and then you got two side compression strap, but it doesn't have the little pulley system like on the Lindy on the side. They just are standard compression straps that wrap all the way around the bag. <clears throat> and they could be used to attach any of the PALS pockets or admin pocket or Tara pocket or any even one of the other backpacks. I could strap my uh, and Lindy to the side of this and then have a, a really big loadout. Okay, so it has compression straps and then I'm going to load it out So you'll see how big it is. <clears throat> it's got only two external pockets It's got this Let's move these out of the way for a minute It's got this rather shallow pocket at the top just behind the straps that has some velcro or some loop field And it's not a very big pocket. I've got um, I got a dry erase marker a pen a flashlight in there. I've got my ID for work and I've got uh, looks like <laughs> just a bunch of dice. Yeah, I had six little fruity dice in there. I guess I in case I want to play dice. Um, yeah, I always put all the stuff back. So it's not a very big pocket. I just use it to throw just these little things I use every day. Dry erase marker, pen, ID, dice. And then it's got this side panel side zip panel pocket in here I've got uh, another little case with ID cards and business cards a little gym boss timer some dude wipes uh, a little LMNT uh, electrolyte drink and a, and a buff I think that's all I've got in there so I just keep those things in there this is just kind of my everyday stuff I haven't really cleaned that out for the video which I guess in hindsight I probably should have okay. So there's the two pockets on the outside, and it does have these really cool um, 
side water bottle pockets or wand pockets that you could put something long in there like your hatchet or your axe or um, it's wide enough even to get the bottom of my uh, rifle butts the buttstock on my rifle in there and then I could use the side compression straps to hold it to the side of the bag the right handled side of the bag comes with this little little briefcase strap everyday carry strap so that's kind of neat not one on the left side but you do repeat the the bottle pocket on the other side it's got this little lace system what do I got in here I got a fast rope I got some cinnamon almonds and some green tea so evidently I've got some food in there for the day we'll just throw that stuff back in there and then these these bottle pockets are plenty big enough to fit all of that plus a Nalgene that I can just tighten that up and these side straps the lower ones are designed to go around whatever bottle you have to kind of hold it in place or you could carabiner it in or you could put two of them in there side by side and when you're not using it you can pull that shut and you can see how it laces that gusseted pocket real tight and gives you a little compression on the bottom of the bag okay. so on this side I'd put my water bottle pocket in there or I put my water bottle in the water bottle pocket and there's enough room I might even be able to get yeah I could do that I could put my Yeti in there next to it I could tighten that pocket up a little bit and get the drawstring down and then I don't know if I would trust that to carry both of those but they do fit in there you can see they're smashed down in there they would ride it's plenty big enough that's my stainless steel clean canteen 40 ounce and a, a large size Yeti that both fit in that pocket yeah. now I can just draw that pocket down and I'm not using it tighten it up now let's look at the inside <clears throat> of the bag all right so we've undone all the straps and you can see that it is a three-quarter zip YKK zippers number 10's big robust it is a three-quarter zip we're just gonna move that pistol over here for a minute three-quarter zip panel loader I like that for my daily carry because I have I usually carry a computer and a lot of papers and stuff uh, so I always just throw those things in the panel loader instead of forcing down through top loader it's much easier before we go over what's in there you can also see that there's another zipper at the top that's closest to my back this is also a double zipper it opens up and allows me access to the bag almost as a top loader and this is pretty good uh, it's handy because I keep a tourniquet I keep a snake staff systems um, tourniquet just rubber band to that loop at the top so I, I've got quick access to that I don't have to open the panel loader up or get the straps off to find that and I also have uh, access to my pistol usually uh, my Leatherman signal and an extra magazine <clears throat> All right, if this was stuff full of like camping gear for instance so let's go back to the panel loading feature again I could have staged this but I've got a little med kit in here just a little trauma blowout kit I've got my toiletries this is my uh, my toothbrush toothpaste flossers extra contact solution my all my charging cables for every day uh, just stuff I need every day I have a glow stick for some reason and a life straw in there it's part of my camping loadout and then in the bottom I keep a uh, an empty Spiritus Systems uh, sack sub abdominal carry kit and in there I can switch out if I don't need the whole bag and I just need to uh, grab a couple of things like my pistol I'm bringing that in with me or uh, I don't have any pockets and I want to put my ADC loadout or some stuff in that while I sleep I just keep that empty bag down there now some of the organization in the top or in the the back of the the bag this is also from um, uh, hill people gear this is just their little Tara insert it's just a little from first spear their little 6x12 loop field and Molly laser cut so you can you can put Molly weave through there or you can just use the loop field these two items are from van quest I like that it's just a little admin pocket that sticks in there I use that to keep uh, just a few things in when I want to organize the bag a little more I don't actually know why that's on that pocket oh I think that was in one of my other bags and then I just have this double magazine holder I use one extra mag and my um, Leatherman signal on that and I can access those both 
from the top of the bag. And you can see this pistol is all right, safety checked and it sits in my uh, alien gear holster. And then I've got a little leather or a little uh, Velcro strap that holds this pistol right here. So when I'm not carrying it on body and I want to stow it in my bag for whatever reason, I've got that right there. But then through the top loader, I have access to that pistol and the extra mag. Okay. Otherwise, it's on my body. And right now, we're just going to set it over here. So I use that because I can switch this from uh, bag to bag with this little Grimlock hanger. Each of the Hill People gear bags always has this little hanger loop at the top for a water bladder or for these, these organizing inserts. And I just throw that in from bag to bag, depending on where I'm going, keep it loaded. If I wanted to do more of a permanent attachment inside this Aston, <clears throat> you see that it also, the entire back side, inside is lined with that first spear, I believe it's first spear, that uh, laser cut six by 12 Molly, but this one I think is even longer than 12. So you could weave the pouches and things right in there if you like them in a more permanent position, or you could just stick things on there wherever you want. Okay. So I like to keep the modularity, so I just hang my insertion panel right over the top of it, and I'm, I'm good to go. So I keep those things there. You could also, if you're carrying, like sometimes, um, if Carrie Ann and I are, are going to be out for a while, she's taking one of her big fancy, fancy schmancy camera things, I could take that accessory bucket and just attach that right in here, because this bucket is padded. Now I could protect uh, my precious uh, canteen or anything else that I want to kind of keep from getting bumped and bruised inside the bag. And then I could use the G-hooks right on the, like run that down the molly on the side. If I can get my fat finger in here. Yeah, you get it. So I could G-hook that there and then the, the Velcro would hold that. So I'd have a, another pocket inside here in case I wanted to organize that way. I said in one of the other videos I'd show that. So that works out pretty good, although I usually use this outside the pack or the, the elk colored one. So that's the inside of my Aston, but how much can we actually get in here besides my daily carry stuff? <clears throat> so let's say I was going to um, switch up my load to go to uh, outdoors. So I'm going to move my ID over there, uh, my pen, my dry erase marker. I probably leave my little extra flashlight and of course my dice in that top pocket because, you know, why not? I'll throw a life straw in there. I'll put that top pocket in case I need to get some water and I don't feel like stopping to boil water. Safety light and my little around camp fanny pack. I can just stuff those down in the bottom. Just keep them down in there. All right, let's see. What would I put in here? First thing I need is worry about my sleeping. So I'm going to throw in, I'm going to stuff down in the bottom one of my Swagman rolls as an under quilt. I gather up my hammock, tuck that in there. Uh, along with my hammock would go my my full, um, all my cordage, uh, my uncivilized cord kit and spikes or tent stakes and um, the poles I need for my hammock and the hammock tie outs and all the extra <clears throat> hammock pitching things. Okay? And my tarp, I could stuff that down in there. Let's see, what else can we get in there? I've got a few odds and ends in my possibles bag, my spoon, my headlamp, bought some salt, uh, my whistle, another fire starter, mosquito net, all that kind of outdoorsy stuff. I'm gonna throw my trauma kit also in there. I'm gonna have to pack this in any particular order. This thing's got a lot of room. My poncho, I could throw that right on the top. Uh, I got an extra boo-boo bag, a little boo-boo box to go with trauma kit, an extra waterproof bag, a saw. We can put all that in there and just run that zipper up and just swallowed all that up, all that gear pulled right in there. If I wanted to pack it a little more, I'll loosen up these bottom pockets, get rid of some of that compression down there at the bottom. Well, that was kind of holding it, holding it a little tighter. Okay. Open that up a little bit. So still got plenty of room. What else can we put in there? All right, so we go back to the, the panel loader, open that up. We'll keep my gloves hanging on the outside. Here's a little ground kit I like to, or a little ground cloth I like to carry sometimes. I could lay that right on top, stuff those down in there. 
I could take my multi hood, multi hood, you never have too many uses for that thing, stuff that right down in there. I wonder if I could get a second swag man in there for use as an over quilt. Let's see. That is a lot of gear. And then Aston took all of that gear in there. Normally I'd put this in a big duffel bag for my Decker pack frame. There we are, fully loaded out. I wouldn't be able to get those compression straps like that, but one of the other things all the straps come with are these little heavy duty elastic cord keepers. So I could take that off and you can see how much extra strapping I have on the top. I'll show you why that'd be important in a minute. So let's see, I need some more gear. Uh, I gotta take my toiletries with me, my charging kit. I can stuff that in the outside pocket with my gloves. Okay. Stuff those in there. My extra magazine and my Leatherman signal. I stuff those right in there. All right. Maybe on the top of the pack, <clears throat> I'm gonna roll up. Maybe it's gonna be cold out. I wanna take one more blanket because I'm one of those chilly sissies who thinks I'm going to get super cold at night and I got to have more blankets. It's actually not true at all. There's just <laughs> three more blankets than I would normally take in here already, but I just wanted to overload <clears throat> two swagmans, an extra wool blanket on the outside, a multi hood. All right, and I got plenty of room. I could still stuff my uh, extra socks in the top there. If I took that first swag man out, I got room for my food, uh, my food bag. Um, if I were carrying a small stove, I would take that with me as well. If I could take my metal cup that nests on the bottom of my canteen here, tuck that on the side. And this pocket's plenty large enough to, on the other side, accommodate uh, a collapsible platypus full of water when I get where I'm going. If I'm worried about that coming out, I could just run the compression strap around the side there. Okay. And then I put the belt on and the Aston 3 would be ready to go. So that is a lot of capacity. I just grabbed uh, a bunch of camping stuff, although that is typically my, my full loadout. Um, I forgot to put in my cup. I don't know where that's at right now, probably being washed. And I didn't put a small food bag in here, but for a quick uh, two or three day trip, um, I can get enough food in there by replacing one of those swag man. I would use one for the under quilt and then this blanket for my my top or I wouldn't need this blanket if I had the two swag man that are already packed I could put my poncho on the outside and then I could just maybe layer my food bag on the top outside my bag which is what I sometimes do so I can bear bag it and this is what it looks like on right so that's not that's not heavy at all obviously with no food or water I could carry that okay just like this da, 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 da. I weigh 200 pounds and somewhere between 5'10 and 5'11, so 5'11 if I'm standing up straight, 5'10 by the end of the day, or 10 and a half, but that would fit right there. And you can see the length of this bag is, is fine with just the, the shoulder straps, but if I wanted to maybe transfer some of that weight, I would find my prairie belt, lay that across the bottom here. And I have found that it's better to put the belt on after I've packed it out. I don't know why, it just seems to ride better. So now my belt's loaded up. And these belts are super comfortable. All right. and then I've got my Aston that's moved from just my daily carry. And I can slap that on there. Buckle the belt up, cinch that down, cinch down the flat straps. Right. It's got a sternum strap, same as on all the Hill People gear uh, yoke systems. Where's the other part? Yeah. Sternum strap that I can slide up and down on the, on the straps as needed to adjust without hitting that microphone. And then it's got a couple of load lifter straps at the top so I can pull that closer to my body to hug that in. So that's what it would look like with the belt. 
and all the weight rides on my hips. I get tired of carrying on my shoulders. I can loosen those up. Cut that sternum strap free, right? And let that ride just on my on my hips and pelvis when I'm walking around, although this is not uh, a heavy load by any means. Right, and then when I get to camp, <clears throat> I can set that bag down. I can strip the belt off, use that as a field belt. If I have pouches and water bottles on the side, I could pull off the, uh, with a couple, just a couple quick pulls, I could detach the yoke system and strap that to the, uh, the Tar Humara or one of the admin pockets and I'd have a little day bag. Although honestly, one of the, one of the reasons I was excited about this Aston sized bag is once it's empty with all my camping equipment, it would make a good day bag sized bag to run around camp with for short day hikes. Or I could combine if I'm sleeping in a, uh, under a tarp and I didn't take my hammock, which would save me a lot of room. I'm just on the ground. I could put a sleeping pad on the outside and then I could just, cause I only have a three quarter or a half sleeping pad. I could use the bag as a, a foot box, put my feet down in there, keep them warm and toasty. All right, so that's the Aston 3 from Hill People Gear. Uh, it has all the, the, the best features from all their other products. I've just gotten this bag. I got this off of eBay and saved quite a bit of money. Uh, it was the only one in, it just went up. I was super lucky to find it. Uh, it was Tori's idea at the office. Um, the woman that runs the office for me has been on a, um, a search for when this bag got back in stock on Hill People Gear. <laughs> she checked it every morning and every afternoon for the last couple months, mostly to hear me stop whining about it. But she said, why don't you check eBay? Lo and behold, there it was. So thank you to the eBay seller. I don't know if I should mention or not. Got it. Love it. Can't wait to get it out on some adventures and try it. It's my last, people hill, last piece of Hill People gear. I, I know, I promise. So uh, until they come out with something new or more awesome. Um, that's it. Like, subscribe, uh, turn on notifications because we're doing really well now with the channel as far as, um, a, as a funding source for our charity. So that's going starting to go pretty well. And leave some comments uh, below which piece of Hill People gear uh, equipment do you use? Do you like Hill People gear? Do you not like it? all USA made, all USA sourced products. Um, stuff is great. All right, that's it.